This video might be 12 months late, but uh, it's better late than never. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Black Magic Craft. This is Reviews Day Tuesday. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these. And for those of you newer to the channel, this used to be a regular staple where on Tuesdays I would take a look at some cool product related to the hobby. This is a bonus video for the week. On Friday, I will have my usual episode. Now this is one that I had planned, promised to do a year ago, <laughs> around Christmas time last year. And for a variety of reasons, it didn't happen. So I wanna fulfill that promise uh, a year later because the company was kind enough to send me these for review purposes. And I felt really bad that they've been sitting on the shelf ever since. And I've been waiting for the holiday season to show them. And that's because these are the war in Christmas village miniatures. I actually got a whole bunch of them. This stocking is so full of magic. Like I said, they did send me these for free, but I have not been otherwise paid to do this video. In fact, they don't know I'm doing this and they probably thought I forgot about it. These are 28 millimeter scale gaming miniatures for tabletop games, but they are themed in holiday uh, kind of styles, but kind of more with an evil edge. So if you want to run a holiday one shot or something like that, these are the minis for it. These were originally uh, Kickstarted. I think this original set, set came from Kickstarter, set funded by Kickstarter. Uh, but there's other sets that have come out since then, and I will put links in the video description where you can check them out. A lot of them are actually on Amazon. So this is the first core set. Comes in a nice cardboard box, and we've got six miniatures and a die. The, the die, I guess, is a movement thing with also a skull and crossbones. I'm not sure if they actually have their own rule set for this die, but movement dice are always useful regardless. We got a cool Santa Claus with an ax and a baggie full of goodies. Doesn't look too uh, scary or evil. Could definitely be used in a horror type Christmas game or just a regular Christmas themed game. And then you got Krampus carrying a child in a sack. These are all injection molded plastic minis. They got some mold lines and some flash on them that definitely need cleaning up, but the details look pretty good on them and they would probably paint up pretty nicely. I think minis like this could be used in other scenarios besides Christmas games. Then you got these two snowmen. One is, I'm gonna say almost like a good guy snowman and one's like an evil bad guy snowman. And we got what looks like, I guess, Saint Nicholas, uh, more of the traditional saint style uh, with his staff and big papal hat. And then we got a reindeer. Ooh, it's a zombie reindeer actually. He's all eaten up and decaying and bony. His antler's a little bit bent. This is a uh, rather soft plastic. Not soft in the way that Reaper Bones is soft, a little bit more like a toy-like plastic. Now let's check out some of the other sets. All right. Okay, so the packaging on these later sets is a bit different. Mistletoe Misfits. This looks a little bit more like Heroes. I guess like a nutcracker with a sword. That's pretty cool. And you got what looks like a pretty traditional barbarian ranger. Definitely something that could be used as a character mini in a non-holiday themed game. This plastic is a little bit different on the later sets as well. It's a lighter gray. Then we got a bunny with a blaster of some sort and a baggie full of things. This one looks pretty cool. Upright reindeer with some armor and a big stone mallet. Pretty cool character. And this dude here, which uh, I think is, I guess, like a Jack Frost type character. Got his staff. Um, yeah, you could definitely paint him up like Jack Frost. Could just be a generic caster or wizard in other games. And then you got this Rat King type fellow. I have a feeling uh, some of these characters might be Nutcracker related and I got a confession to make. I've never sat through any production of the Nutcracker in my entire life or read it in a story. And I actually have no idea what it's about. So I'm, I, but I have a feeling that is themed on that. And then we got, um, well, this looks like a kind of hag of sorts. It also has horns. Maybe it's kind of like a female Krampus. I don't know, she's got a duck foot. Really cool mini. Cool for D&D general. Uh, I'm not sure what the traditional holiday tie-in is with this one. Let's see what other goodies Santa brought. Okay, oh Christmas treant, oh Christmas treant, how deadly are thy 
branches. This is very cool. We got a Christmas tree ant uh, <laughs> that's fully decorated. That's a very unique and cool mini. It's got two parts here. The, um, the joint is not the best. It's pretty rough. You're gonna need to do a little bit of fixing on that, maybe pop it apart, put it in better, or use a bit of Milliput to fix it up. But other than that, the mini is pretty cool and would look pretty neat painted up. This one is definitely going to be more limited Christmas game kind of use. These three little elves, Santa's helpers, I suppose, but ready for battle. One with a crossbow, one with a candy cane. I like that. And one with a mallet, which is pretty appropriate for Santa's workshop. These guys are pretty cool. Could definitely use them in regular games as well. Could be gnomes or dwarves, halflings. And then you got a whole bunch of little gifts here. Uh, some of these are just regular Christmas presents, three of them, and then you have their counterparts that are Mimics. These are really cool. Everybody loves Mimics. People are obsessed with Mimics. If you ever wanted a Christmas present Mimic, now you can have one. What's up next in this stocking? Okay, this one is called She Ain't Having It. This one looks to be more zombie villager themed. You got a zombie horse that could go with the zombie reindeer. And you got a couple zombie villagers. Again, totally useful in non-holiday themed games. These would fit in all sorts of different settings uh, for fantasy, even like Call of Cthulhu type games. These are great. I like this guy's little top hat. And then you have another snowman, which is definitely based on that classic stop motion animation most of us know. This is really neat. So if you ever wanted to play as that character, now you can. Not a lot of generic use for that one, however. A uh, villager with a crossbow, could be a hero mini, could be used in other games. Pretty neat little design. Again, fair bit of mold lines and flashing that needs cleaning up. And I think there's one more in this stocking. Okay, this one actually is a smaller set. It only has two minis. Cowboy riding a jackalope, which, I don't really think of as holiday themed. I guess it is. When I think of Jackalope, I just think of, uh, is it America's Funniest Home Videos? Or the other one, the other video one? Uh, as advertised, it is a cowboy riding a Jackalope. Very unique. Uh, I've certainly never seen this before. I'm not sure how I would use it in one of my games, but if you're in the market for a cowboy riding a Jackalope, this is your set. So there they are, War in Christmas Village miniatures. A good chunk of them are perfect for holiday themed games. I'm personally, because I'm not running any home games right now with COVID, I'm gonna use some of these to make a really cool family uh, game with my daughter. She's really, she's really gonna enjoy that. I'll break out some of the snow terrain that I've built on this channel previously and come up with some sort of holiday rescue mission she has to do. But a lot of these miniatures, maybe about half of them, will be useful for general gaming in the future, which I really like. I, You know, it's cool to have themed minis for something like this. It, it makes it easier to justify buying them if you can get other use out of them further down the road, and a bunch of these you definitely can. Thanks again to uh, Warren Christmas Village for sending me these. Sorry it took me so long to make this video. I hope this makes up for it. I'll put links in the video description again where you can pick these up for yourself. And also the guy who makes these, the creator of this line of miniatures, also has a YouTube channel and he does some crafts on it. And I'll put a link where you can check that out as well. So that's it for this impromptu surprise reviews day Tuesday. As I said, I will be back with you for one more video this year before I shut down for a little bit for the holiday season. So I hope you're all staying healthy, happy, and well. If you like this video, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section, all that other good stuff. That's it guys, cheers. See you at the end of the week.